Hello everyone, I thought I'd just kind of do a sit down and talking video today because I haven't done one of these in a really long time and I feel like there's a couple of things that I kind of just need to talk to you guys about so I'm just gonna have a little chat. So firstly I just want to apologise for not getting a video up on Saturday. I found it kind of hard to balance like YouTube now that I've started college as well because I leave for college at 6am and I don't get back till 6pm so it's very hard to film within the week and on weekends everyone is home and if you don't know this I never like to film if there's other people in the house so that makes it quite hard for me to find the time to actually make videos and I'm not trying to like excuse myself for not making videos but like I don't know like now I'm at college it's quite a different atmosphere and I just kind of have to adjust and get used to it and also now that it's coming into winter like natural lighting is very on and off and I don't have any like studio lights or anything so I find it very hard when that I do have time to film like if the lighting isn't right then I can't film anyway so it's like hard to get the balance and actually have a good time to film but I'm hoping that soon I'll be able to buy some studio lights so hopefully that will fix like a large majority of the issue that I currently have with filming but anyways the kind of main thing that I wanted to talk about today was my channel in general and just the kind of content that I'm making at the moment so you may or may not have noticed recently my content has been not as good as I would like it to be and as I say, you know, I missed an upload on Saturday, which may not sound like a big thing, but a lot of the time I have videos filmed, but if I haven't edited them and uploaded them, then I usually don't like them. And if I'm not really happy with my content, I don't want to put it out to you guys because I do kind of feel like a responsibility to make good content because there's quite a lot of you now. I know 2,000 people maybe doesn't sound like a lot when you when you compare it to these really big YouTubers who have like millions of subscribers to, to me having like 2,000 people subscribe to my channel and like wanting to watch my content I do feel like there's kind of a bit of pressure not like from you guys but on myself that I need to make good content because there's a lot of you who are going to watch but it's really hard I think as a YouTuber trying to find the balance between making content that you want to make and making content that your viewers want to see and a lot of the time a YouTuber's aim is kind of to make like the most popular and in videos so that they get all of these like hundreds of thousands of views and you know they want to go famous or whatever but it's like it's not even that it's just I feel like whenever I try and like um, push the boat out a bit and maybe film something a bit different I still get really good feedback but the videos don't get as many views as you know the stereotypical like morning routines and stuff and I also feel like I've kind of just fallen into the category of just a beauty youtuber and I feel like there's a lot more that I want to do than that but I kind of feel a bit restricted at the moment like everyone expects me to be this like beauty youtuber and all I should talk about is beauty and Obviously I still really enjoy makeup, fashion, all of that stuff but I feel like there's more things that make up me and that I want to share but I feel like, I don't know, it's like, it's like, oh god, um, I want to make this different content but at the same time I don't want to let you guys down and and whilst the majority of you are like really lovely on all of my videos there are some people who do say mean things and a lot of the time it isn't really so much online more people that I know like in real life and a lot of the time these aren't like serious comments but they do get to me a bit and it's like so many people especially like boys and lads who maybe don't really know that much about like YouTube and they know I have a channel but they don't know what I create they just know that I talk about makeup they're like oh she's just a Zoella wannabe and that really like makes me angry because it's like I feel like boys especially like I'm not targeting anyone when I say this but I feel like it's especially boys in my case where they just assume that if you make like beauty videos then you are a wannabe Zoella and you're just copying all of her content which I think is absolutely ridiculous but because she is like the big kind of successful beauty 
vlogger basically. People assume that if you're making content which is kind of along the same kind of wavelength as hers then you're trying to copy her and you're being unoriginal and it just really frustrates me to be honest because it's like just because someone makes a style of video does not mean that they're trying to copy other people. Obviously you have influencers who kind of inspire you for some videos or whatever but like everyone is unique and I feel like it's very rare where people are genuinely like full on just making this persona where they're just trying to be a bigger YouTuber and not themselves because I feel like you can kind of fall into this trap as a YouTuber where you're not like pretending to be someone you're not but you kind of try and be more than what you normally are so a lot of the time YouTubers will be like more happy and excited when they're on camera because that's just like what viewers want to see no one wants to watch them on where they're just like really bored talking monotone in a camera just like this you know and a lot of the time I was like that when I first started just because I was shy and it's like I'm not in general like the kind of person who's really like I don't know like enthusiastic and like really happy all the time and like I'm just like a normal teenager you know like um <sighs> you see all these other like beauty people who have all these really bright videos and it's all like I don't know like just you know I think you know what I mean where they're just like really big and bubbly and happy and all this stuff and that's just like not me and I don't really feel like I fit into maybe just the average beauty guru category anymore it's like I still enjoy making certain videos I really enjoy fashion videos especially and I do like doing makeup and stuff but at the end of the day I'm not great at it and there are other people that you'd probably rather watch on how to do makeup and I feel like on my channel I kind of want to step out of just this beauty and fashion kind of idea that people have about me because there is a lot more to me than that and I kind of want to show that in my videos now like I want to talk more about other things that I like you know like art and books and stuff like that and I know a lot of you may be aren't interested in that content and that's like one of the main reasons that I've been putting this video off because like obviously as I say there's over 2,000 of you and that's a lot of people and I feel like the majority of you may be subscribed for beauty videos but then at the same time you're not so I don't really know why you're subscribed to me so if you're watching this even though I've been filming for 10 minutes if you're still watching this um, just let me know like why you're subscribed to me because I think that's going to help me out a bit because Whilst I feel like a lot of people are here just for beauty videos, my most kind of popular videos, what I've done well, are not really beauty related. They're like school related videos, you know, back to school stationery hauls, GCSE exam advice, um, just kind of school and basically my most popular videos are either school, GCSEs, fashion, those three like main categories and those are like the three things that I do like. And I feel like I want to talk more, like, giving school advice. I feel like I probably have a lot of advice that I could give to those of you who are younger than me and are maybe about to take your GCSEs and stuff like that. And I feel like, I don't really know, I just, I'm not happy with my channel at the moment. And that's basically the main point of this video, which I've been rambling on about for like 10 minutes. And I'm just not happy with my content at the moment and I want to do things a bit different. And I want to kind of make the videos which I like watching. And like one of the main videos that I enjoy watching are like travel videos. So just like the really cool kind of artsy Tumblr like aesthetic videos. So to give you an example basically Connor Franta. If you've ever seen any of his videos like I will link a few like as an example on the screen or whatever. But if you've ever seen any of his kind of artsy sort of travel videos those are the kinds of things that I really enjoy watching and I maybe want to try and bring more of that into my channel and do like short films and stuff because that's something that I really enjoy doing and I feel like beauty isn't really me anymore and it probably never really was when I first started my channel when I was 14 I just kind of did beauty because that's all I really knew of on YouTube it was like if you want to get into YouTube and you're a girl, go into beauty, basically. And I don't feel like I ever really properly fitted into this category anyway. And especially more in the recent months, I really feel like I've grown out of just this kind of just this kind of impression that I'm just this really kind of 
I don't know, beauty based girl because I'm really not. Like, obviously, like I say, I enjoy my makeup and stuff, but there's other stuff to me, and I feel like a lot of you guys don't really know that stuff. And I don't really know, I've been mumbling a lot in this video, but if you want someone to kind of say what I'm saying in better words, if you watch Louise's latest video, which is Sprinkle of Glitter, I will probably leave it linked in my description. Because I was going to make this video anyway, but watching hers to give me a lot of kind of inspiration for what I wanted to say. And she can probably word what I'm saying better. But basically, I don't feel like I'm being myself all the time when I'm on camera. And I'm just talking about beauty and stuff. And I want to feel like I can make videos about whatever I want to make them about. Instead of just being confined to this box where it's like, you're a beauty YouTuber so you should only talk about this. It's like, that's not the only thing which I'm interested in. So basically the end of this massive ramble is, I'm sorry that my content hasn't really been up to scratch at the moment, but it's mainly because I haven't been happy with it, so I haven't wanted to film those videos and upload them to this channel, but I am hoping to get back into the swing of things, but maybe my content will be slightly different. So basically the main thing I'm saying is, the person who I was two years ago is not who I am now. And I feel like I've kind of been a bit, I don't know, held back maybe because I feel like I should still be the same person that I was and that I should still make the same content. But I feel like by doing that, I'm not letting myself grow and be who I want to be on this channel. So main point is I'm probably going to be changing my content a little bit. I'm still probably going to make a few beauty fashion videos, especially fashion because that's what I'm more interested in than actual beauty to be honest. But like yeah, people change and I feel like on YouTube changing is like a issue. Like a lot of people will be like, oh so and so has changed, they're not who they were. But everyone is constantly changing as a person. Your interests change, your friends change, who you are as a person, you know, you're just constantly changing and that's just how humans are. So I don't really know where I'm going with this to be honest, but it's like... I've changed as a person and I'm not really I'm not really into the same things that I was basically is the whole point of this big ramble I've changed so my content is going to change and if you don't like the content that I will be making in the next few weeks then please feel free to unsubscribe I'm not trying to force any of you to stay watching my videos because obviously if I'm making things which you're not interested in don't bother subscribing and watching them basically. I really don't mind if I lose subscribers for this because at the end of the day the main reason that I started this channel was for me and making content should make me happy and it does make me happy but I feel like I need a change. So that was basically the main point of this video. I'm sorry that I rambled so much and I'm not even sure if any of you will have watched to the end because to be honest I probably wouldn't have. But yeah, that's the main point of this video is that I've changed and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed my ramble you probably didn't but thank you for listening if you did get this far anyway and please do leave me your thoughts down below even if it's maybe not like the same opinion as me like that really doesn't bother me like share your opinions down below because I feel like I want us to have more like actual conversations below so yeah I will see you very soon with another video.